Just a uh, quick video on a clutch booster spring. Um, clutch booster spring for a Porsche 997 first gen. Um, I had some issues with mine uh, a few, few weeks ago where it was making some crunching, grinding noises. Um, quick read up online um, it, about the, the clutch booster spring, what it does. Um, it assists you pushing the clutch down, it doesn't make the, the clutch so heavy. Um, there wasn't many videos on it, didn't know what I was looking for. Um, so I've since ordered a new one after all the crunching, grinding noises and um, replaced it. Um, there's a few write-ups online, not, not many videos. Now, it's incredibly hard to do a video because the, the spring sits at the top of the clutch. Um, you have to get right under the dash to see it. Um, but this this is the old one. Um, the new one comes very similar. There's a pin in the back to stop it falling apart. That, that's that's the pin that I put in when removing it. Um, but when you when you get under the dashboard, um, your you can once you identify this, you'll see that there's no pin in there because um, it's been removed because you remove it once it once it's installed. Um, one of the things I struggled with, I thought that you had to remove this clip and take push the pin out, um, but you can't do that because um, it actually hits the side of the, the frame on the clutch assembly. Um, but what I realised after about an hour um, is that this end part here is actually encapsulated either side um, in like a C-section. And this, this section here is also in a C-section. So when you depress the clutch fully down, you can actually pop this end out without removing that pin. And then the, the spring hangs down and you can sort of unclip it from the other side. So you don't have to remove this pin or this clip. Um, I couldn't push the clutch down on my own. I've got weedy arms, um, so I've got my boy to push the um, push the clutch down for me. I sort of squeezed in up behind there once I'd worked out what was going on. And once the clutch is fully pushed down, you can see that th this can move. And you just leave the pin in and the and the clip, pop that end out. And you can sort of negotiate it round um, and and then get it out. Some people remove this because they think it gives a better clutch feel. I don't know, I just kept it factory and left it in there. Um, so just out of interest, uh, I haven't actually taken this apart yet. This is the, the, the crunchy one. Um, and I'm gonna, gonna strip it down now. So the pin's just dropped out, and that should release and come apart. And it did, with a bang. Right. So the, these are the bits. There's the spring. The spring's not broken in any way. Um, There's, there's the other section that sprung out across my table. Much to my wife's delight, I'm sure I'm getting grease on the table here. Um, and there's not actually a lot wrong with that either. So, that's that, we can see that. That's the inside of it, of the clutch booster spring. Um, yeah not a great deal wrong so I can't really say why can't really say why it was making any noises um, bottom section there is worn a little bit so I fitted the new one um, it's not making any noises anymore clutch feels a lot smoother um, so it's really hard to say 
what was causing it to jam up. Um, maybe sticking on this material here. Who knows, but that's the clutch um, booster spring. Um, I've replaced mine, has made a difference so far. Um, can't actually see a lot wrong with this one. Nothing's actually physically broken. Um, hope it helps someone removing or replacing theirs.